How's it going guys and welcome to another episode of GITV. In my hands is something that I am very excited to talk about and a gun that I have been anticipating in Airsoft for quite some time. This is the H&K VP9. Now a little bit of history about the HK VP9. HK set out to make a striker fire pistol. They took a lot of great inspiration designs from a very popular pistol at the time, which was the Walther PPQ. So taking a lot of those and molding them together in their own version of a striker fire pistol, HK knocked it out of the park with the VP9. This is a very, very excellent shooting gun in real life, and the airsoft version is definitely no different. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, well, Josh, the VP9 has been out for a little while in airsoft. You'll see it in other markets, but for some reason the United States simply didn't get any. And to answer that question, that's because VFC and Elite Force were working together to get the uh, improvements made that they wanted to make before they brought it to the American market. And we'll go over some of those improvements in a little bit, but it's definitely awesome that this is finally making its way over here to us for us to get a chance to use it. And with this being the new edition, the version 3, there's a lot of really great features and modifications they've made to make an excellent pistol. Now a couple of the features that they fixed were the air nozzle return spring, as well as some of the mag leaking issues, and the outer barrel used to be a two piece and they went with a one piece to make it much sturdier. Now one thing I do want to mention about the outer barrel is, as you can see, it does come with this threaded flash hider, so attaching your suppressors or anything like that is going to be a cinch, but the downside to this is this actually is affixed to the barrel and does not come off. Now this isn't necessarily a VFC or an Elite Force issue, that's actually a customs issue, so unfortunately we have nobody to blame but the customs agents for that lack of features. Now the VP9 does feature front and rear white dot sights. This is really great for acquiring your targets. Uh, as well as on the back of the slide, there is a really cool little uh, rib on each side. This makes it very easy to manipulate the slide and rack it super easy. Speaking of racking the slide, on the back of the gun, there is a little window with a red indicator to let you know if there's a round in the chamber on a real gun. Obviously this is air socket, don't have to worry about that too much, um, but it still does let you know when the slide has been racked. A little bit lower, you will see that this is ambidextrous uh, as far as the magazine release goes. I really, really like that. Um, as well, the slide release is ambi on both sides. Now, take down of this pistol for cleaning is very simplistic. Simply rack the slide back, throw this little lever, and you can take the slide off. This is also how you adjust your hop up, as you can see here with this little window. Now the magazine capacity is 24 rounds and it's green gas, so you can expect to get at least one to two magazines out of it before you might want to think about refilling it again. The gun also comes with three sets of straps in the box to adjust to any size. You're gonna get the back strap as well as two side straps, uh, so you can definitely configure this to fit your hand for any kind of shooting needs. In addition, it also has a lanyard loop, so if you're like me and drop your pistols a lot, that might be a worthy addition to put on there. Now the VP9 is gonna come in two different colors. Like I said earlier, it's gonna come in this awesome FDE as well as the all black version. Uh, personally for me, I really like the all black version. And you can expect the price tag for this to be right around $145. Another thing to keep in mind is this is dropping sometime next year around January. So if you're looking to get a new pistol, this is definitely going up on pre-order soon. So you definitely wanna take advantage of that. Now the VP9 shoots right around 330 feet per second, making it perfect, obviously, for any indoor or CQB play. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the VP9. I am definitely very excited about this. As soon as they come in, I will be pre-ordering one because this is a pistol that I have wanted for a very, very long time. So if you're like me and you're really excited about this, once again, they do drop in January, so make sure to get on those pre-orders if you really, really want one. So guys, that's going to do it for the VP9. My name is Josh, and we'll catch you guys on another episode of GIT. TV.